Hi all. Well, another gorgeous day. Temperature is up. It's hard to believe that this is supposedly called fall. But um, I was just out today enjoying the weather and it's quite warm. And I just wanted to talk about difficulty real quickly. It seems we're in a time where difficulty is almost viewed negatively. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that difficult times are not joyous. I understand that difficult times are not anything any of us look forward to. But I think we tend to underappreciate our difficult times. Because you see, during difficult times, many of us rise to the occasion more so than others. We look inwards. We dig deeper. We try to find more positives in our life. In some way, that's a good thing. And yes, in some way, that is driven by difficulty. So we could look at difficulty not as something to avoid, but as a catalyst. Now again, I think balance here is what we're talking about because no one wants to go out and find difficulties just to grow. But I think on some level, if we can accept our difficult moments, our difficult times, um, difficult headlines in the news, and if we can take the time to take those difficult moments and energies and reflect upon them, I think we can grow from them, as I said, a catalyst, without putting more effort into it than is required. In other words, I think we can be positive about difficult times, hardships, moments that we would prefer not to endure. And we all have those in life. And guess what? We will all continue to have those in life. That is just the beauty and the balance of this life. I had a professor in college one time tell me if everything was wonderful, we would cease to understand what wonderful was. And I think there's great truth in that. Again, I don't think that we should be seeking difficulty or seeking misery, but on some level, we shouldn't dread those tough moments. We should have some appreciation for them, and we should have the energy to understand and spin those moments into something beneficial for us, a moment to learn, a moment to grow, and a moment to understand because in every difficulty, I believe there's a lesson for the open mind and the keen observer. And as you know, in Buddhism, those are two practices that we all hope to have, that we work on daily, in our meditations and otherwise. So the next time you have a difficult moment, and they occur daily, reflect upon it. See what you can learn from the difficulty. What went wrong? Where did it go wrong? Was there anything wrong at all? And if there was something wrong, what could your attention, energies, and efforts do to either right the situation or make it more acceptable or just a little less painful? I think if you dig in there, you find great compassion and understanding, not only for yourself, but for others. And I'm going to leave it on that note today. As always, have a good one. Peace and love, Jim. <laughs>